So let's take a look at these rather quickly. But uh, turning on, what do we mean by that? Turn on to yourself. Turn on to your interests. Turn on to the people that I'm sharing with you. Turn on to everything in the world that helps life to be easier. Turn on to all of these things. Tune in. Tune in and find out your purpose in life. Just like a seed has a purpose. For example, I have a whole bunch of orange seeds outside growing and they're all growing out and each of those seeds has that command in it that says create an orange tree. And we all have something inside of us which is the purpose of life. And we need to find out what that is. It is not a very difficult thing. Uh, it might take two, three months if you think about it. But you can actually go about it as if you are allowing the, your purpose in life to find you. So everything that you do from now on, pay special attention and see how you feel doing it. That could be your purpose in life. Once you have this purpose in life, you then align it with the purpose for living, the purpose of life itself. What is life trying to do? And I'm going to read to you what I have discovered. Don't believe me again. This is, sounds crazy. And that's fine. If you think I'm crazy, <laughs> no problem at all. Uh, but this works very well for me and also works very well for those of my students who are taking the course number five. I call it the the famous course number five or infamous course number five which is called self-transformation through personal magnetism and this is the purpose of life itself this innate inherited purpose oh this is that the perp the first part of this little secret is your purpose in life this innate, inherited purpose is to teach, clarify, and contribute to the well-being of life on earth and everywhere in order to, and now here's the second part of the secret, in order to survive long enough to learn and realize that we have unlimited potential to control the physical universe. And when we do so, and can demonstrate it to ourselves, we then, in conjunction with the rest of humanity, become what earth dwellers call God, omnipotent potential to create matter and life forms. What, we say? As puny as we are right now, we can't even control earthquakes. Look at all of the upheavals in nature, earthquakes, cyclones, twisters, all over the world. We can't do anything about them. We can't now, but we will. Now, some people believe in exterior powers. Oh, the power of this, the power of that. Well, you, my friend, are the power. And that is difficult to see when we sometimes are victims of many things. But we keep working on ourselves to a point where all of your life can be at cause. You can be at cause over your life. Now, after this tuning to, to tune in pro tuning in process, then comes drop out. What? Drop out? Yes, I mean exactly that. Dropping out means having nothing to do with people and concerns that, that are out of sync with the purpose of life. They live by squashing others and they think it's all very clever. 85% of the world is doing that. And now by dropping out, there's a chance of being lonely for a while. But in the, at the end, you will have friends that are the types of friends that have the same things in common with you. You do not settle for specious activities. 
make believe activities to rob others. Let me see if I can find a, a better explanation here. This is from the book itself. So, we drop out of the old world and we start creating our new world. And later, when I make more of these videos, I'm going to give you step by step the method by which we create our own world. Not by, f we, do, we change, we drop out of the old world, not by fighting it, changing it, improving, or renewing it. We drop out of the, wor the old world by literally dropping out of it, leaving it alone, abandoning it, not relating to it. Let us say that you have a friend who is very negative and has been causing you problems and inconvenience for a long time. Under the new world, modus operandi, you simply disconnect from him or her. You drop out of existence for him or her. You don't fight him or her, nor engage in a complex procedure of explanations. You simply drop out of his or her world. You don't associate with him or her anymore. If she he confronts you on it, just tell him her you've had a lot on your mind, which indeed you have in the process of starting your own new world. 95% of all that we are connected with in this world is specious. In business, it's an accepted fact that the most money one can get out of the customers, the more clever he is. The good news is that there are always a very, very few that are absolutely honest. And these are the ones you should connect up with. These you are to discover and then give them your business. They deserve it. To do this, you must become an expert at reading people. And this is where the personal magnetism course is so vital. Drop out from holidays. This is just, I'm just pointing out some of the innocent lies in, in civilization. There are others, heavier ones. But I wouldn't dare say them here because every time I do, I get in trouble. <laughs> okay, They are a nuisance and only interfere with production. They are supposed to be holy days. Of course, people who have no purpose in life just love holidays. Any excuse to get away from work. Now, if holidays were taken advantage of in order for one to rest or do something constructive, well, it might be acceptable. But... I know, and you do too, that holidays are excuses for blowing the fuses of your mind by boozing it up and drugging it. This is, these are just examples that have come to my mind. There is no form of celebration in the United States, and this might also be true the world over, where people don't do something to destroy their reasoning. It seems you can't go to a simple celebration or party where people are, getting, are not getting high. For this reason, I don't go to parties anymore, unless it's the type of party where people actually communicate, perhaps sitting in a circle. Without the loud music, a party is not a party, so drop out of the parties and also holidays. Independence Day on July 4th is a true valuable holiday. It means a lot, but people in general use it as an excuse to just blow their minds. Christmas is a big lie, no matter which way you look at it. It not only empties your wallet, but stresses you out completely, and all your production comes to a halt. Now, these are just some of them. And I would say these are in the middle. Lies that, are, that we live are in the middle. They're heavy lies, and also very light lies. Now, dropping out means... Oh, I read, did that one already. Okay, so... These are the basic um, things of, that we're going to explore in order to uh, create our own new world. I'll go over them again. You have the great secret where nature abhors weaklings. Then we have your personal purpose in life. Then we have the alignment of that personal purpose with the purpose of life itself, the purpose for living. Now, who am I to tell you what the purpose for living is? Each one has his own purpose. <laughs> so, I discovered it, and it works for me, and it works for all of the students who study course number five with me.